Hey guys, Rizad here. Ooh, what's going on? Oh god. Got a nice, thick, fluffy coat of snow. We're gonna run the X Max in it. Anyway, I love driving my X Max in the snow. You get these drifts and stuff. You do donuts for days. Remember when we were kids, we called donuts Brodies? I don't really ever hear anyone call them Brodies anymore. Maybe it's because I'm old. Remember we'd get on our pedal bicycles and you'd slam the brakes and you'd spin in a circle? Call it a Brody. Guess that's not cool anymore. Got the ramp cleared out here. Let's see if we can hit that. And we are stuck. I'd say, looks like we probably got a good foot of snow out here. X-Max gets stuck in it. Can't drive the X-Max in a foot of snow. Well, that thing's heavy when it's loaded down with snow. Full brakes. What do you think would happen if we hit that down there with some speed? Now it's getting sunny out, thanks a lot. <laughs> too much snow. A little too thick today. I'm going to stay in here in the garage so I can get out of that wind. You want to jump it off of that? Let's see what will happen if we hit it over there. Done. Oh, and that's low voltage. Dang it. It's time for me to go to work now. Uh. Uh. Let me show you guys what I do when I get done driving an RC car in the snow. Or, or in the water, for that matter. Let's take this body off. Woo! I can hear the fans are still going. Try to knock some of the snow off the body. I leave it on. I like this shock tower design on the X Max because I can set it upside down and let it fall on them. Dead. Pretty good at knocking all the snow out. Fans are still chugging. And we are at low voltage. That's what that red flashing is. So since we're done for the day, put her upside down. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the red straw right there, you don't want to get WD-40 in there in the drive pin because that will attract dirt and dust and grime. Uh, you want it on the outside. The bearing is exposed right there, so I'll just take it and hit around the blue thing with a little bit WD-40. Same thing here, there's that black bearing. You don't want to get it in the drive, drive shaft assembly, you just want it around the outside so that bearing won't seize up on you. Same thing there, same thing there. Then I spin the tires. Now spinning the tires, that's going to work it into that bearing and that will push all the water out. That's what you want to do. The goal 
You want to get some right here too on the outer bearing. Had that fail on me once. Let that spin. So that's going to work into those bearings and push out any water, make it so your bearings don't rust and lock up on you. That's a little harder to get to. There we go. Do that one. You hear those fans? Oh man. I feel bad for those fans, I do. So all of the bearings that are exposed, you want to make sure you get some WD-40 on them. Don't want your bearings to rust out on you. That would be bad. So just let that spin for a minute, let those work in. Let them spin. Reverse, forward, and that's all. Ooh, I don't want to hold. Oh god! Wow, that's rough. Anyways, that's it for today, folks. See you in the next one.